guys, welcome to episode 12. I think it's episode 12, might be 11. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, we're gonna carry on from exactly where I left you guys off because this is literally straight after I literally just made the other one. But you guys just don't know that. And if you guys are kind of upset because I hardly upload tutorials, just give the video a like because it gives me more motivation to make another one. So, yeah. Uh, okay. I know it's been like two seconds, but I kind of forgot where I was. Um, okay, we've done that. I've already explained that, haven't I? Okay, so we're going to move on. Uh, we want another if statement, don't we? Yep, another if statement. Sorry about my thinking time, it's just a script like this. It's not that hard, it's just so much on it, it just, it's hard to remember. Clip size, but I'm mainly improvising to be honest. Okay, we want that large, smaller, larger, we want that larger, smaller, even. Okay, if the max clip size, no, 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 ammo and current clip. If ammo and current clip is smaller than clip clip size, where's clip size, clip size, right there, I just had it, smaller than clip size, uh, wait, no, we want, huh, um, extra ammo, where was I? I was here. Okay, it's uh, we want our extra ammo is smaller than oh we want it so if it's smaller um yeah we want it so if it's smaller smaller than the max clip size minus the clip copy and paste it there. Okay, so it's practically just the opposite of that. If it's smaller, do you want it? No, we don't want it all equal to. It's smaller. Create some curly braces. Then we want. Uh, how are, where are you? Current clip. We probably just want to put whatever is in there into the clip. Which it, where the hell is it? Wait, what am I even looking for? I just confused myself. What the hell? Oh yeah, we want our ammo and current clip plus equals extra ammo close it off and then we also want to set extra ammo to zero because we just put it in there but partly moving it then we want extra ammo to equal to zero and then that's practically Reloading equals false. Okay, all of that was just for reloading. All of that just for reloading. That's the most annoying part. Save. Um, but yeah, it's this is a good way to do it because then you don't have to like enter how long. It's pressy as soon as the animation stops, it does it and then sets it back to false. It means you can't double tap reload and then it just glitches out. This is practically the like less glitchiest way I have realized. I've used this for most of the, the games I made. Practically only three FPS games I've made, I think. But well tried to. One I'm busy working on. Um Yeah, but it's gone oh, I don't need this calculator. Calculator can go. Um, so yeah, let's quickly move on to the shooting. So we want an if statement in input dot get button down. Now we're just going to make it so if we shoot. So put fire one. That's the left mouse button. The uh, reason why we use strings as well is not just because it's, well you can change it when you start up the game as well. I can quickly show you here, I've got Gamer here. 
uh, if you've got an input, you can like change all the things. So that's that's one of the reasons why we use the strings in the input thing. Let's go back. Crap, bear with me. And also because it can also link to like say an Xbox controller or yeah, you guys know what I mean. So let's just create that. Wait, we also we don't just want it to randomly shoot. We want to put something else in there as well. And max current size, max clip size. I know, just write it so low. Max clip size is uh, larger than uh, zero, and we also want it to not shoot while we're busy reloading. No, I got it. Got it. Just right there. And not reloading. It'll be a bit weird if you're busy reloading and shooting at the same time. So we got our braces. And now we're going to use that timer we had. That we made. Somewhere. Fire rate. Uh, copy. Fire. Wait, is it fire rate? It is fire rate. No, it isn't. It's fire timer we're going to use first. Okay, so. If another if statement our fire timer is larger than zero or equal to larger or equal to zero uh, current clip wait I had max current clip I gotta stop calling it current where are you max clip size wait no I call it max clip size noob my other game it's called uh, max current clip uh, max clip size uh, minus equals one close that off um, now where's our uh, bullet copy that on another if statement wait wait do I just put it in here yeah I'm just gonna put it in here uh, put that in brackets I put an if in front of it just so it looks cool <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's for a reason okay, <laughs> if bullet um, basically if we create a bullet we want to in oh my god this word instan t8 intan t8 Instantiate. There isn't an. Uh, yes, there is an S. T. Okay, yeah, whatever. We're gonna go with that. Bullet. At the. Bullet. Spawn. Uh, I think that's what we're calling it. The. Transform. The. Position. Oh, crap. Position. We're back. Practically getting its position. And we also want the rotation because we don't just want our bullet to shoot off in a random direction. Bullet spawn capital B. Don't know why I deleted the whole thing. The transform the rotation. Who? Okay. Um, now we also want to set the fire timer uh, equals one um, Okay, now we also have our fire timer here. It's literally just there doing nothing. We obviously want to set it to do something. Because right now we're just setting it to one. You probably want to uh, paste it there. Okay, fire timer minus equals uh, fire speed. Ah, oh, crap, we're on layup. 
Okay, uh, put in time dot delta. I hate typing this. One of the good things about C sharp is not having to use delta time. And then we called it fire rate. There we go. There we go. Times fire rate. Close that off. Save. Okay, now that is practically our script which we are going to be using. Uh, I have missed out the sound. I have just realized I've missed out the sound. Where are we going to put that? We're going to put that right under here. If uh, I don't have a bullet sound. Do we use bullet sound? Yeah, we're going to use bullet sound. If Bullet sound. Uh, uh, my <laughs> bullet sound. My bullet sound. Uh, we want to create a new variable. Create a new variable. Where are we going to create this variable? Just over here, or yeah, let's just tidy that up. Uh, in here, you want to create a variable. Uh, my bullet sound, let's put my in front of that, my bullet sound, and that's going to be a game object. My bullet sound equals, uh, we're going to have to instantiate again, aren't we? Okay, well, we'll we just, just copy that. Paste it there. Okay, instantiate uh, bullet sound. Oh, shit. Copy that. Uh, Instantia bullet sound, bullet spawn. That's cool. Uh, we don't really need the rotation, but we're going to keep it there anyway because I can't be bothered to take it out. Ah, okay, now we've got the sound. Let's just quickly check for errors. There'll probably be an error. There's always an error. I always get an error. Nope. No error. Taking us time. Take us time. It's cool. It's cool. You can take your time. Uh, just play one shot. Oh, I don't think I'm meant to. But where are you? The play one shot to get rid of the brackets. I don't even think I was meant to put brackets in there. <laughs> Save. Yep, it's cool. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> get rid of the one shot. Let's just have play. Save. Now let's take a look. What? It's not possible to invoke an expression of type of boolean. I didn't even use it for anything bad. Let's take a look. Okay, if reloading equals equals true. Dunno, hopefully that'll fix it. Nah, eh, it's just Unity being stupid again. Either that or just my way of coding isn't good enough for it, but I, I kept it all nice and organized, so I don't know what's happening right now. Okay, I'm gonna pause it here so that you guys don't have to watch me do this because it's actually a waste of time. Uh, I'll just take a look, I'm not going to change anything, I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. I uh, found out what it was. I actually found out just as I like pause it, so that was kind of frustrating. Even though it just took like a second, but... Um, okay, it's pretty simple. Where I said reload sound at play, that needs brackets. And about where it says boolean, it's not actually mentioning the boolean, it's just giving me the wrong arrow. Just get rid of the dot animation. It's just been stupid. Let's go ahead and save. Um, 
Now I'm pretty sure that that was it. Let's just take a look. Ah, right, just realized. And up here where it's the reload animation, just change it to an animation rather than a game object. Animation, let's go ahead and save. It makes it compatible to use strings. Let's get rid of these two errors. Wait, what you want? I have fixed this. Real animation. Yes, why? What? Uh, try animation. It might actually. Now that I've changed it to animation, let's just put animation back in there and let's find out what happens. Let me be with it. Okay, no, let's get rid of it. Ah, ah, capital I. Totally called it. Okay, now this should work. That should work. Eventually. Eventually. But there we go. There we go. Okay. Um, I quickly need to make some reloading animations, don't I? So let's go ahead and window animation. Uh, start recording. Reload and. Reload and want to start there. There. Click on transform, start there. I also want it to end there, so let's move to about two. Add another keyframe and about one. We want it to rotate a little. Maybe lift up a little. Maybe inward a little bit. And this rotates a little bit that way. Move a little bit back. We can press you just do whatever the hell you want. Um, yeah, it seems about if I stop recording, if I hit play. Just a nice casual rotate. Okay, it's not that much, but this is just a tutorial. You guys can have complex reload animations in yours. This is just to show that it works. Let's just bam. Okay, it's a cool reload. So I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit. Let's stop going. Um, okay, so I've got my animation, my reload animation. It's attached to my spectre. Uh, not to any. Oh, sh wait, wait. Is that a bad thing? Is that a good thing? It's meant to be on the spectre. Um, <laughs> I think it'll still work if I use it on the spectre. It doesn't really matter. Drag the spectre which you have your animation on into the animation box. And make sure that you spelt the name of it. Re reload. As you can see I didn't. Reload. Good thing I said that, right? Copy. Paste. Paste. Save. Okay, yeah. And uh, reload sound. Um, I'm not going to have a sound, just component audio. It has to have an audio source. Then you should just click and drag your sound into where it says audio clip here. I'll put that in in the next tutorial. I just want to get the shooting out of the way. And now that it has an audio source in it. Oh, by the way, if you made your animation on the actual gun, so if you imported an object which has an animation in it, uh, just click and drag that into the. The, this box, the reload animation box, and then yeah, so on and so forth. Uh, okay, but now we want the sound in. But now that we have an audio source on this, this can be eligible for a sound. <laughs> uh, we also want our bullet spawn, which we put there. So just click and drag the bullet spawn into there. Bullet sound. 
Actually, I can quickly put that in, just so that I know that the gun's shooting, because we don't have any recoil yet. That'll be in the, probably in the next tutorial. Uh, if I go to... Where am I going? Ah, shh. Uh, if I just go to this, not that one. Computer, documents, BS, assets. Surely there's sounds somewhere here. Let's go into guns, models, rifles, X130. We'll just take that. Close that. There we go. Uh, this will. We're going to quickly create the bullet. So let's go ahead and create a cube. Well, big cube. Size it down a little bit. Maybe stretch it out a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit more smaller. <laughs> actually, you want it quite big just so I can see that the bullet is actually shooting. So that I can see it's shooting. Um, uh, it can be anywhere on the map, it doesn't really matter. Ah, there we go. Uh, rename this bullet. Let's go ahead and create a prefab. Call it bullet. And now you just want to click and drag the game object from the hierarchy into that prefab we just made. Uh, okay, that's the bullet. Now we also need the sound. Okay, uh, let's say create a cube again, make it a lot smaller. Get rid of the box collider and the mesh renderer. So it's practically just an empty game object. <laughs> I probably should have just said that anyway. And you want to just click and drag the uh, wait, wait, do I even need it like that? Just click and drag the AK sound in. I just want to. Spectre. Can I just click and drag that into the. No, I guess that has to be like this. Uh, yeah, and then you probably want to do the same. So I have AK sound. Create a prefab. AK sound. We can drag that into the AK sound. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, so now we've got a bullet and the AK sound. Click and drag the AK sound into the bullet sound and the bullet into the bullet. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, now, here's our clip sizes and our ammo. Now, in theory, if I click play, this should work. Oh, crap, okay, let me just get rid of that. Uh, get rid of these because now that we have them in the the fire one button is not set up. Oh right, there's no space between fire one. Let's just get rid of that space. I used it somewhere else. I used it there. Save. Go back in the game. Now hit play. Wait for the little thing to sync. Don't know why it just takes forever to sync now. Okay, synced. Okay. We click, it plays the sound. Why is it? Oh, well, let me click again. Oh, that's the bullet it made. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just click on the spectre and let's find out why. Hit play. Okay, fire rate is zero. Now, fire timer is one. Oh, right, right, I get it, I get it. We haven't set the fire rate. Um, I don't really know what to set the fire rate to. <laughs> uh, I guess maybe one, two. Let's just try to. I don't know whether this is gonna work. Okay, two is pretty slow. By slow, I mean really slow. That. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, save scene. I kind of got to figure it out. Let's go back to here. Uh, I made a mistake with these. Let's just keep the bottom ones, which sets it from zero, get rid of these. Uh, let's just do that again. Uh, if max clip size, max ammo and clip, ammo and clip is 
uh, larger than clip size. Max clip size. Uh, I think I got it the wrong way around last time. Then we want to set this equals this. Practically stops it from going over the max. Um, now we have someone if current ammo, current ammo, extra ammo. Okay. If paste in there, extra ammo. Um, larger than? Yeah, if it's larger than the max, then perhaps you just want to set it to the max. Close it off. Make it neat. Save. Okay, now we want to go to where we have the fire. If we get rid of that get button down and just have a get button save now we can hold the button in for like a machine gun just have get button down if it's a pistol um okay uh, we want a uh, nice clip size minus equals one fill it fill it out why is the max clip size there we want what has meant to be our where are you where are you? Am I in current clip? Minus one. Where are you? I've lost it. I've lost it here. Ammo in current clip minus equals one. Okay, save that. Let's play it. Take a look at the stats as well. Actually, before I play, I'm going to wait for it to sync. Take it down. Take it down. Um, Spectre. Fire rate, I'm going to change it to 8. Should shoot faster. Yep, a lot faster. Um, fire timer. If that goes to too much, it could lead to lag in game or something. So let's quickly put a limit on that. That's what I always do. I always look for, look for like glitches and stuff like that. Uh, if fire timer is small is yeah smaller than the minus five. If it's smaller than minus five, fire timer equals minus five. There we go. Just put a lid on it. If we play the fire timer which you can see here shouldn't go below minus five hopefully if I'm right if I just wrote that correctly so it sinks yep it practically stays on minus five kind of well around that area yeah okay that's good uh, let's go ahead and save scene save project now let's just check that the reloading and stuff works Yeah, that's kind of awkward. What? Okay, the animation didn't play, but still the same concept. As you can see the extra ammo when I reload, it moves it onto the ammo and current clip. Okay, everything's working apart from the animation. Why isn't the animation working? Reload anim. Let's just rename that. Name it. Copy the name. Let's go back in here. Paste the name. Reload. Ah, it's about reload. Wrong. <laughs> I'm such a gimp. Uh, yeah. Let's save. Now it should work. It's gonna put my sound down a bit because you guys can probably hear the gun in the background. It's probably annoying. Uh, play. It's taking us time to play. Should play. There we go. Uh, we want to click on the spectre so we can see the stats. Um. Yeah. So. 
shooting and shooting and shooting. Still lets us shoot. The animation still isn't playing. Why isn't the animation playing? Okay, I'm gonna do this like you guys probably done. You guys probably didn't do it like this. So let's get rid of that reload and animation there. You want to go down to your actual spectre, and you want to open up. Uh, let's just go to. Wait, why is why is the walking animation and stuff in there? Shouldn't it be an animation? It is an animation. So why is it on the spectre? Here. Okay, Spectre. Create a new clip. Reload. Yes, replace it. Hit reload. I mean, record. Add a keyframe. Go to two. Add a keyframe. Let's just do something crazy in the middle. There, like that. That'll do. Okay, that's our reload. Close this. Let's hit play. No, oh, I haven't even set. Let's go back to Spectre, plug that in the reload animation. Where the hell's our reload? Why did I put in animations? I wanted it in Spectre. Hence why I click Spectre. Okay, let's do that again. Actually, we're just going to go to uh, Component. Where is this in here? No, oh, Physics. Where's animation? Okay, just keep an eye out for animation. Animation. Okay, we'll plug that in there. Okay, so let's create a new clip. And obviously, we want it reloading animation. Sorry, it's taking so long, but it gives you guys something to watch, right? And you can hear my lovely voice. It isn't that lovely. I have to live with it. I don't like it. Uh, let's do something crazy again. That'll do. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, let's stop that recording. And there it is. So let's quickly jump to our other Spectre. And click and drag that in. Just plug it in there. All nicely plugged in. Uh, yeah, what else? Okay, now we obviously changed the name, but we're going to go ahead, this is going to be frustrating. In, on the reloads, create new variable, call it reload name, it's going to be a string, and yeah, so reload name, copy that variable, let's just put in all the places we put the reload name. basically those places. Oh, there's only three of them. Fair play. Moving up. Okay, so if we click on our spectre, you'll see that once it syncs, what did we call it? We called it reloading animation. Copy that name, put it in the animation folder, just because we're nice and neat. Right to spectre, you'll see it says reload name, we're just going to paste that in there. Okay. Now if this doesn't work, then it didn't work. Maybe I have to put the the anon at the end. <laughs> Play. No, 
Okay, not even that works. Um. Why isn't it working? All it needs to do is play the reload animation. Um, let's go back to where it says reload animation dot play animation reload name. Why the hell isn't it actually working? Okay, but well, our, our gun shoots and shit happens. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stop this tutorial here and in the next one I'll fix that error and move on to something else. Thanks for watching.